Harley. You wanna come say hi to everybody? Hi everybody. Hey y'all, what's prepping? It's time for some sassy talk. <laughs> I don't know I just made that up I am just taking a break from things and sitting outside in the Sun trying trying to get my vitamin D taking a break um, we've had some cold weather and uh, as of Sunday of this week it started warming up and so today it's like 64 and it's sunny look how beautiful it is I mean just look at that sky It's gorgeous out <clears throat> and so I'm taking a vitamin D break and maybe we'll have a vitamin D chat how's that have you heard the term doom scrolling that's something that I had picked up here recently it's not my term I didn't coin it I don't know where who did where it came from but uh, doom scrolling is a thing and if you're someone who is you know constantly scouring social media and the news and that kind of thing for the doom and gloom or if you're just maybe not actually searching for it but you are constantly seeing it as you're scrolling through your media and you're watching the videos that are talking about food shortages skyrocketing prices you're hearing stuff about economic collapse rumors of wars and things like this as a prepper on top of all of this you have uh, you're, you're, you have the stress of wondering if you have enough, if you've done enough. Is my food canned right? Is it stored right? You know, and these are things that we prepare for, but we still check on them and we still monitor them to make sure that everything is stored right or there's no critters in your pantry. That happened to me. Um, it wasn't a serious situation, but you know, I lost a bag of flour and when uh, the budget is tight, prices are high, you, you, you know, that's stressful to lose a bag of flour because then you think, you know, how many loaves of bread could that have been? How many, um, you know, pancakes or how much could I have fed my family with that? And so we carry all of this stress. Um, and if we don't take a break and just, you know, sit and take a breather, you know, if that means take a break from social media, it takes means just you know getting out of the house for a while go do an activity take a hike go for a walk in the park you know for us we took a vacation um just uh, about oh gosh it's been about three weeks now you know and we you know took a long weekend took the camper actually it's not a camper we took the rv out and um you know went away for about a four day almost five day so over the weekend so I call it a long weekend but shoot five days is almost a week so um but no we had a long weekend and just got away and just had some fun and you know so what I've been telling my kids this year has been let's just make the most of of our free time make the most of it while we can you know because we have this opportunity right now and let's do it and so I suggest, you know, take take a break, you know, take a breather, take a day off from thinking about your, your prepping. Take a break from your social media. <laughs> Stop the doom scrolling. I really do like that term. I think I'm gonna keep using it. You know, the doom scrolling is, um, we can get caught up in that. I'm trying to talk here. Do you mind? There was a term last year that they called it fear porn. I kind of hate that term, but in a way, if you understand, <laughs> if you understand what porn does to the brain and the addiction that it causes, um, the constant doom that we had on the TV last year with uh, death toll numbers and the doom and gloom music that went behind the reporting and you know uh, this country had this many in deaths and this you know so it was all negative and it had the music attached to it so it would you know spark uh, an emotion inside and when all of that happens it's it's shocking but it's also I, I gotta see the next one I gotta see the next and it's 24 7 and you're you're brain is absorbing all of this and at the same time while it's hurtful 
and you kind of know it's bad, you keep coming back for more. And that's the basis of any addiction and getting it in front of you all the time. And that it's like, it's like they want you to think about it all the time. And in the prepping community, or if you're, if you're just someone who is a, a person who is a prepared person, this can be on the forefront of your mind all the time. And if you don't take a break from it, then it's going to actually become a form of an addiction that you can't break from. And I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and this is just because this is my experience and, and the things that I deal with on a regular basis. I, I've been an addict, a faith-based addictions counselor for 12 years, and I also have training in neuro-linguistic programming, um, and that's just a form of, of counseling. You know, just as we can get ourselves spiraled into negative, we can get ourselves out of the negative. The mind believes what it receives. And so what are you filling your mind with? Are you filling it with constant negative, scary doom, doomsday reporting? We need to keep a proper balance as well. It's like, okay, I know these things are out here and we are being prepared. So we're doing our due diligence to make sure that our families are going to have the things that they need. If you're someone that is constantly scrolling and you just gotta watch this next video and gotta watch this next video and, and oh my goodness, there's this one. Oh, what did they say about the market? Oh my goodness, there's this collapse over here and this country didn't do this and then there's, you know, a war over here and then this country has, um, you know, new variant here and, you know, shortages here and y'all, it's one thing to make sure that you're informed and that you're prepared, but it's another thing to be totally obsessed with it. Set limits. That's going to be my first piece of advice to you. Set limits on yourself. So when you get on social media, set a timer, you know, only be on for, for maybe an hour. And I do it in chunks. I spend my time researching things, researching on canning, how to can meat and dehydrate vegetables and watch all y'all's channels and your videos because I love watching you do these things and I'm learning from you um, and getting to kind of connect with some of you through chat. So I love that. And then get off and, and do stuff for the day. And then if you want to get back on in the evening, you know, again, just do it in chunks. It's the best way to do it. That way it's not going to suck up a lot of your time. Live your life. Live. We're not guaranteed tomorrow right we don't need to be afraid of that though but we're not guaranteed the next hour or the next day and so we want to make sure that your family is taken care of if something happens to you you know and 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 then at the end you've done all these things and you've you're prepared then take a day and and rest and and thank the good lord for the things that he has allowed you to do, allowed you to have. Thank him for your talents and being able to make food from scratch, to build things that you need, uh, you know, for storage or for, um, you know, maybe fixing up your house. You have those skills, maybe to build a um, compost bin or something. You know, thank God for those skills. Thank God for the family that you have, that he's given you. Thank him for the abilities that he's um, given you to be able to provide financially and emotionally and spiritually for your family and those around you. Thank God for the little things. Thank him for the sun today. Thank him for, you know, the coffee. I can still afford coffee. <laughs> and I, but I'm being serious, you know. I want to laugh at that, but I'm being totally serious. And sometimes you have to be intentional if you're not used to doing it. You have to be intentional and in finding something to be thankful for. And if that means it starts with your cup of coffee that you were allowed to have today, thank them for the water that you still have or that you're able to get, you know, from a well or from, you know, from your city water or whatever, thank, you know, or the bottled water that you have. Thank them for the cup that you're able to drink out of it and thank them for waking you up so that you can enjoy it. <laughs> the people that grow the coffee beans and, and ship them here. You know, we can still find things to be thankful for. And in the long run, that is going to help us stay grounded and 
save our sanity and keep us in check while all of this craziness and chaos is going on around us. It is a frightful thing to see empty store shelves and food prices going way up and gas prices going way up and we can immediately go from zero to 60 in just one second in our thinking processes. My mind does that. I Sometimes I just hype things up so fast in my mind and I have to tell myself, no, we're good. You know, God is still in control. Amen to that. So I encourage you today to take, take five, y'all. Maybe even longer. Take an hour. Take 30 minutes. You need at least 15 minutes to sit in the sun to get that vitamin D that you need. Take some time. Go for a walk. Clear your head. Breathe some fresh air. Break away from the chaos of the news and social media. Ground yourself in the truth. Be thankful. Gratitude goes a long way in changing your attitude. I hope that was helpful for you. I want to be an encouragement. I also want to have fun on my channel, but I hope that this is encouraging for you. In the days that you're feeling overly sassy, it's time to take a break. <laughs> be sassy and classy, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I want to thank you for, for tuning in and supporting me. In the meantime, prep it up, pack it up, and stack it up, y'all.